Today we're going to be making this cat plush. I'll leave the template in the descriptions below. You're going to need two bodies, four ears, two of each color, two eyes, and a mouth, and the strips, one of each color. You're going to cut about half a centimeter, and in each section should be about half a centimeter. You, in the end, you should have about seven and eight individual sections, and then you're going to pin each Make sure the ear is on the outside of the body. You're just going to do a basic running stitch from side to side and then double back so just in case you miss any spots if you want to. Do this to the other side too. When you're done, you're going to fold it together with the tips of the ears touching. You're going to match up the felt on both sides and then you're going to sew both the top and the bottom from the inside outward. After you're done, tie a knot and cut the string. And you're done with one half of the body for the cat. When sewing on the ears for the second body, remember to place the ears carefully so that the same color end up on the same side. Repeat the steps before to the other side of the body. After the ears on the other body are done, match up the fabric on each side again and sew them together from the inside outward on both the top and the bottom. When both sides are done, take one side and flip it. After flipping it, take the one that you did not flip and place it. After putting it over, match up the edges of the felt so that they're even on both sides. Start sewing the sides together, but don't forget to leave a hole at the bottom so you can stuff it and flip it later. I left a 6 centimeter hole so I can flip it. You can make it however large or small you would like it to be. When you're done, start flipping it. I suggest pulling on the sides of the inside and just trying to pull it through one side at a time, but you can flip it however you would like. After you successfully flipped it over, you can start stuffing it. You can use any stuffing. I got mine from Walmart. I recommend stuffing the ears if you want it to have stuffing because it's hard to get in there. So I recommend stuffing it first. After you finish stuffing, you can sew the bottom shut. After stuffing and sewing the bottom shut, you can fix the little bumps with a needle by inserting it and pushing it upward on the inside or using your fingers. Place the face on the plush on where you will like it and then you can glue it down with hot glue or fabric glue or whatever you choose. You can even sew it down if you would like.
To get the plush to stand, just squish the back to move